How to survive the prison chow hall on your first day. First day going to prison, you're about to get your very first delicious tray, ladies and gentlemen. What do you do? Chances are, if you're on the East Coast and you don't know nobody for the most part, it's your first day in prison, you're not a part of any kind of gang, you're going to be sitting in that line, lone wolf status. Chances are you won't know anybody in front of you or behind you. So you're sitting in line, about to get your glorious first prison tray. Everything's going good, you get your tray, and then the next biggest question comes to your mind. Where the hell am I going to sit? I'm in a high-level prison, there's killers and gang members all around me, where am I sitting at? One thing that you should definitely do and it would make your decision on where to sit much easier is don't be the first one in line because if you're the first one in line or close to it, then all the seats will be open and possibly you could choose to sit at the wrong table. If you wait, if you take your time going down there a little bit, don't be last but you know kind of in the middle, you can get a feel of who sits where. Chances are that's where they're going to sit on a regular basis every day. If you see a group of guys sitting at that table that you probably wouldn't mess with, don't sit there. You really just got to analyze the situation, get the feel of things, and really, you know, your first two, three, four days, you might be eating by your damn self. Well, not by yourself, but sitting at a table with people that you're not even really talking to. If you were to ask me the best place for someone to sit down at and eat their food if they don't know anybody or anything that's going on in that prison, Try to find the table with the old heads. The old heads probably steer you in the right direction. They've been through it. They've seen it. Take their words as wisdom. And then, you know, I'd say probably a week tops after going to the block and introducing yourself to people, you're going to uh, start clicking up with individuals that are, that are kind of like you. And those are the guys that you're more likely going to be going to the chow hall with. And then sooner or later, you're going to see another guy come in. And he's going to sit at that old head table and you're going to probably see the same old heads that gave you game. Give him game as well. But I can't leave this out. All right, this is the East Coast. East Coast is very different from the West. Yeah, over here on the East Coast, you can sit with whoever. You know, black, white, Hispanic, Asian. The only time uh, politics really gets involved is if y'all are a part of some kind of gang organization. Now on the West Coast, as a lot of you know, it's highly segregated. So when you go to the cell block pod, whatever the case is, in a California prison for the first time, I'm pretty sure uh, you're going to know the ropes already or someone's going to let you know ASAP. You're going to be rolling with your own people. If you're white, chances are you're going to be going to the chow hall with the woods, white guys, or anybody that doesn't know what that means. If you're black, you're going to be going there with the black guys. Everything in California seems to be so segregated, but there are those anomalies. I've interviewed individuals that were white that were a part of black organizations in California prison system. So it does happen, but it is very extremely rare. You know, usually you're going to run with your own. You're going to eat with your own. You're going to work out with your own. Everything you're going to be doing with your own. But me personally, I've never done time in California, so I can't tell you exactly how the prison chow hall runs. But I've interviewed people that have done 5, 10, 20, even 30 years in the California prison system. And in all their stories, it pretty much backs up what I just told you. You're going to be eating, working out, doing whatever with your own people. But back over here to the East Coast, even though segregation is not really forced, it's not a part of politics, it happens. You're going to go to chow hall and you're going to see the white guys eating with the white guys, black guys eating with black guys, Hispanics eating with Hispanics. That's just how it is. Even if there isn't no set rules in the prison politics, people are going to link with people that are like them. And you know, I bet people that watch this for the first time are probably really confused. Like, damn. How can prison be so different from east to west coast? You know, how can it be? It's prison. It should all be the same, right? Think again, ladies and gentlemen, what makes that prison what it is, is the people within it. Now, let me close it out with this. Do not be scared going to the prison chow hall, man. If you sit in the wrong seat, they ain't gonna kill you. I'd say 99.9%. .9%. There's always a 1% chance that someone kill you in prison for sitting in their seat. But for real, nobody's gonna kill you, man. You sit in the wrong seat, chances are they're gonna tell you to get up. The only time, uh, you know, conflict can come about during those situations is if you don't wanna get up or they tell you to get up disrespectfully. You know, some guys that respectfully tell you, hey, this is our table. Some guys tell you, get your, get your punk ass up, dawg. This is my table. You know, what are you gonna do then? So uh, that's how conflict really comes about is uh, how you react to other people's reactions to you. 
you know, one of the key things to surviving any kind of situation. If you're going into something new that you've never experienced before in your life, chances are you're going to sit there, shut up, listen, and watch. On your first day in prison all the way until you leave the gate, keep your eyes open. So a lot of people think that you have a time limit to eat. In a lot of establishments, you don't really have a time limit. You can pretty much take your time, you know, five, ten minutes, eat your food. Some prisons or programs, they might run it more military style, you know, uh, boot camp, hurry up and eat, get back to what you're doing type of stuff. But for the most part, you can just sit there and relax. And one of the biggest things that will help you in the chow hall while you're eating your food is just watch. Watch and listen. Analyze everyone and everything around you. That doesn't mean stare them down, right? But just look at the area. You know, no one in particular, you're just scanning and, and taking in all the data. Who's the loud one? Who's the quiet one? That group's there. That group's there. Okay, you're learning a lot on your first day in the chow hall just by shutting your mouth and looking around you. I hope you enjoyed. Got a little bit of intel on how to survive your first day in the prison chow hall. This is the kind of content that you're into. Do not forget to hit the like, subscribe, notification bell before you leave. Check out all the links in the description of the video. Add me up on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram. Go buy yourself some Lockdown 23 and 1 merchandise off of Teespring. And ladies and gentlemen, anybody want a little update on Lucy? She has a UTI, urinary tract infection. Her kidneys are not failing. Thank the Lord. But as always, ladies and gentlemen, I salute to every last one of you been supporting me since the beginning. And everybody who's just now joining the Lockdown Compound, y'all be easy, be safe, and stay free.